What's up, guys? It's JC. Welcome back to JC Spicknick Jr. Basketball Tournament Picks. This is episode two of season two, and here we are. So, so we got today's game: Paw Patrol and Blues Clues. Obviously, Paw Patrol did not play well against Shimmerenstein last season in their first round. Can they improve? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so because Blue's Clues rocks, okay? Josh is doing great and all their other players, so I don't know. Also, if also if if Dora, SpongeBob and Blue's Clues, yes, Paw Patrol know is watching this, like this video right now because Paw Patrol might just get crushed. But I don't know. We'll see. But Blue's Clues will win 115.99. All right, now next game, Sunny Day and Nella. All right, N Nella did not even play that well last season either. Sunny Day, well, on the other hand, they played too well. Sunny has been good, like, but did not even make the, they did not even make the championship, but they still played good. In fact, in my opinion, they're top five, they're in the, they're fifth in the top five. Okay, so here, I don't know, Nella's going to get crushed and she'll be really mad after that game, so Sunny Day is going to win 107.77. All right, then this is going to be some close one. Rusty Rivets versus Bubble Guppies. Rusty Rivets nearly made the finals last season if they would have beat Shimmer and Shine, but Shimmer and Shine was just too good. So, but let's see if they can try and get on the championship track again. Uh, but will they get past Zuli and the Bubble Guppies? Uh, I don't know. We'll see about that. But in matter of fact, Rusty Rivets is going to win 98 94. Okay, now let's go back to the last two games yesterday, the highlights, I'll tell you. Shimmer and Shine, toppling, it has been back and forth. I mean, like, both teams led by double digits at one point. And then fourth quarter, Leah has the ball, and then misses the floater. Come on, why would you miss that? I mean, like, wow. Okay, why would you miss a Fournier? Oh, oh, wait, a floater. Did I just, okay, a floater, okay. Overtime. I don't know. Shimmer and Shine has been leading ex in this quarter, except for one point where, when someone hit a three. I think it was Brody who hit that. And then here's L Leah has the ball, makes a floater, just like the way how someone has done in the NBA, I think. Yeah, a game-winning floater to win in overtime, 134-133. Also, well, let's go highlights with Corn and Peg and Max and Ruby. All right. Not to mention, it was a bad game. It was like a back and forth game. Why would I say it's a bad game? That's rude. All right. It's been back and forth. Max and Ruby only took three leads. That's it. Corn and Peg took seven leads. So there has been 10 lead changes. There are also six ties. And then in the before under one minute, Corn hits a big three from Steph Curry range to put them up double digits. When I said in the 200 subscribers special in the Floors Lava Challenge, I said Corn and Peg can't win by double digits against Max and Ruby. Well, I'm proved wrong. Okay, I'm proved wrong. So, so they end up they ended up winning 10. 101 112 so i guess that's it okay anyways click here to another video and bye